Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are playing our legacy challenge and I am stoked to say the least. This challenge is going to be so much more fun with all the new aspects that we have in the game. Horses, cottage living, you name it, I'm excited. And also the new uh, for rent pack that's coming out should be really fun. I don't know if we're going to be using it a lot in this gameplay. Maybe a future heir will be a landlord. Who knows? But I have exciting news. I finally got accepted into the EA Creator Network program, so I'll be getting early access to all the new packs. So I'm excited to make videos about it. I'm just, I just feel so special. I am sipping on a strawberry lemon poppy today. One of the cutest cans I've ever seen in my life. I mean, come on. <laughs> but cheers, thank you for being here with me today. Let's get into it. All right, gang, here we are back in the compost household. It feels so good. It's all nice and wintry right now. I can't wait to redo this lot, honestly. Like when Zoe and Lamar pass, I like, or we're gonna be redoing the lot because I like to do that for every like new gen, you know, just to make it more their style. So in the last one, we just had like a little recap episode. We celebrated Christmas in a cabin. It was really adorable, but we are back today with some normal gameplay. So Edison here is our new heir and <laughs> so funny when we were doing the Christmas thing, we were like, thinking about potential love interest for him and then you guys so kindly reminded me that he is supposed to get together with uh teddy from my eco lifestyle series if you have not watched that series highly recommend it's one of my favorites it's a really good time it's not that long so if you want to know the backstory with her i would go watch that let's play but we're gonna try and get them together hopefully they have amazing compatibility uh, growing together came with the compatibility thing, which is freaking amazing. When you have these puzzle pieces next to someone um, in the relationship panel, it'll tell you what kind of compatibility you have with that person. It just depends on their traits. It depends on their likes, their dislikes, like everything really. So Edison and Evangeline have school in 14 minutes. So we're gonna be joining them today in hopes that <laughs> Teddy is uh, one of their classmates. What are your traits again? I, they have the same traits and the same aspirations. So they're both creative, they're both a geek, and they both have the admired icon aspiration. She only needs one more teen friend and she needs to do a T-pose challenge. Um, so I'm gonna, did I, s oh, okay, here we go. So I think we're just gonna focus on Edison because he's the heir, but Evangeline will be there too. I've missed this challenge so much. I like hopped into the save file and I was like, dang, this feels like home. It really does. So how are you guys feeling about the new expansion pack that's coming out? What are your thoughts? What are your feelings? I agree with everyone with uh, them saying that it's like City Living 2.0, but there's a lot of new aspects that I'm excited to try as well. All right, let's see who we got as classmates. Okay, it looks like all of like the people who start school with you, like when you first get the pack. Yeah, because we haven't really uh, played with high school years in this Let's Play, so. It doesn't look like Teddy is one of our classmates, which is a, a huge bummer, uh, but that's okay. We can go do something after school and try and see if uh, we can find her somewhere. Maybe at the boba shop, a lot of teens go there, so. Dang, honestly, I hate going to school with them because it's so hard to get good grades. I don't know why, I don't know what it is. It's just, it's just so stupid. I'm gonna get him to study for exam because it's tomorrow. Of course we want him to have good grades. You know, with the legacy challenge, it's like all of your sims need to be <laughs> perfect stand-up citizens for you in order to get points. So, yeah, well, how are your skills coming along, by the way? You don't really have anything. You don't. The best thing you have is video gaming. Oh, man. Yeah, and we actually get to, like, choose. I've been playing a lot of challenges lately on Twitch where you don't get to choose, like, what career you have and all that good stuff. But we actually get to choose with this one. Geek and creative. Oh, my gosh. Respectful introduction to the principal. You should kick him out. Oh, shoot. He's skipping class. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was like, respectful introduction, but no, we were skipping class because we were studying for our exam. I mean, we were studying. I don't want to hear your excuses. Smarts. What's going on your record? Oh, jeez. Travel to career day? What? What does career day do again? 
I guess, I don't know. I, I went once and I didn't really understand the point of it, but I guess we could check it out again. Ask for details about careers from visiting professionals. Maybe this will help us uh, decide what we want to be. Ask for details. Is this a criminal career booth? Oh my god. The audacity. What if he wants to be a criminal? I wonder if I'll get any moodlets from this. Okay, go pee. Go pee before you piss yourself in front of all these pros. Discuss future with your teacher. Oh, Rita. Rita! Discuss future. What does this actually do for your sim, I wonder? Also, is there anything in our inventory that we could snack on? Nope, just some poop. Perfect. Oh, but we have potion of plentiful needs. I forgot. What is this from? Caught from getting caught by school staff. Oh my god, it was an accident. You you got carried away studying. What's this? Sounds like a grind from hearing about career. That job sounds like miserable slog. Oh my god. So what did this do for us? Except for give us a scared moodlet. Nice, Evangeline. And prom is coming. Oh lord. We need to find Teddy so that we can invite her to prom. I'm kind of going to let Evangeline do her own thing. Um... Actually, shoot, we really should be focusing on both of them, right? That's so hard though. <laughs> so freaking difficult. I found this hack where you, it came with high school years. You know how you can buy buy things at the thrift shop and like sell them on Depop, sell them on Trendy? Well, apparently you just go on the Trendy app, find out what's trending, and then go to the thrift store, buy an outfit under that category for like 80 bucks. And then you can literally sell it for a million dollars. It's kind of ridiculous, but uh, with this challenge, you have to make a lot of money. The more money you have, the more points you get. So I'm thinking maybe we should do that with Evangeline. I think she's perfect for it. Okay, well, let's go. Oh, he's hungies. Uh, let's go to the boba shop and get some food there and see if we could find her. This is all in Copperdale, by the way. Thrifty bubble store. Let's bring our sister. Oh, look at all of our family here. Mm, makes me emotional. <laughs> all right, here we are. And there's not a single soul here except for <laughs> Raylan Stamper. Um, yeah, I think we'll wait. But anyways, let's go ahead and order some some food. I don't understand why I can't click anything. Okay, I can click this now. Uh, hamburger sliders. Are you seriously? Give yourself a pep talk, you poor thing. All right, enjoy your sliders. We got Deborah. We got uh, oh Emery. That's that one girl that we invited on our vacation, I think. We got Angie, Crystal Compost. Oh, this is our. Who is this? Our cousin. This is uh one of uh Luna's kids. Also, you, my girly pop, let's go to Trendy and see what's trending right now. Check the latest trends. Streetwear trend is high right now. So what you do is you come over here, you create a fashion look. It sends you in the cast, of course. Streetwear, streetwear, spaghetti underneath. And then all you do is, I usually do a full body because it's a little bit cheaper. You go to style, streetwear, you pick something. <laughs> Excuse me. This is high right now, apparently. Let's go with that. Let's throw some streetwear shoes on. Oh, they're locked or out of stock. Yeah, let's just go with some boots then. So 60 bucks, okay? 60 bucks, name your look, I just pick whatever. This is the best hack ever. I use it all the time. <laughs> it's just too easy. It's like so OP. All right, so you go to their inventory. You can see that, oh my God, that's cute. This little crochet or this cross stitch she did. Uh, you just click this, wait, why is the hype neutral? Trend streetwear. I don't know. But sell outfit on Trendy. I hope this works. This would be really embarrassing if this was like the first time it didn't work. Let's do a million. One, two, three. All right, set for a million dollars and someone usually buys it within the day. So we'll see how that goes. I don't see her here. It's bumming me out. Oh, please show up. Oh my God. Oh my God, is that her? 
No. All right, I guess we're just gonna chill here and wait for her to show up. I don't know if she will, but let's just do our homework together while we're here. Not Gilbert Tinker flirting with Evangeline. Homework complete. Jeez, that was fast. I'm getting mad. She's like the only teen in the whole universe that's not showing up. What are we supposed to do? I don't want to just like go to her house, you know? That's too easy. Tense. Oh, needs amusement. All right. Well, let's um, let's go ahead and move this party somewhere else. Let's go out. I know it's a Thursday, but we've already done our homework. We deserve it. Let's go out in Evergreen Harbor. Why not? Do, 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 do. This is the most pathetic bar I've ever seen, if I'm being honest. But let's hang out here, see what's good. Who's this? You look familiar. Aubert Cantu. I like your fit, I like your hair. You look like a normal townie. And I love this guy's flame hair. Anywho, let's go ahead and see what Edison's favorite drink is. Uh, let's see what Evangeline's favorite drink is as well. I don't think we've done this yet. Oh, Caleb. Hello. Clank, clank. Heroic gentlepersons gather about. Dawn armor for night night. Not the night night. Please show up. Please show up. Please show up. Oh my god, already! Someone wants to buy our cottage core outfit! It's not cottage core, technically it's streetwear. I just clicked a random thing, but holy crap. Easy million bucks in two hours. Brent Hecking wants to buy it. So, what you have to do now is go home, click on your mailbox, and just ship it out, and then you get the money immediately. It's ridiculous! It is a cheat free way to get a bunch of money. Vlad's here. I'm gonna make this a teen hangout really quick. <laughs> Maybe that'll help. Teen neighborhood, I'm sorry. So, is this your favorite drink? A dark and stormy, and then her favorite drink is a gin fizz. Wow, why aren't you guys drinking? Do you guys not like drinking? Not the cowpoke. That is something that is so insane about the new horseback. Like, all the sims just, like, cowpoke everywhere, no matter what kind of music's playing. There's a knight here. I just... I'm, I'm, I don't even know what to say. At least it's popping. What is this from? From recalling your first fire. Oh my god. You like optimistic sims? That's cute. I think that fits the bill. And that's also where the compatibility comes into play. Like, your sim becomes friends with someone, and that sim is a certain type of sim, and so the game's like, oh, your sim must like this type of sim. And if you click yes, and then if someone is like a pessimistic sim, they're gonna have bad compatibility, you know? It's pretty cool. I really like that feature that they added. All right, it's 11 o'clock. Y'all got school tomorrow. We we'll probably have a curfew at some point. I don't even really know, but we should probably head home. <laughs> I love how they hang out together. It's honestly really cute. They're like besties. Hi, Ren. How you doing, love? Oh, okay. Bye. Um, <laughs> we are working on the Super Sim Challenge with Ren. We are working on maxing all the skills. So right now we're working on robotics. The robotics station is on the roof though. I don't know if it's safe to do it in the snow, but um, I guess we could just do it anyways. Apparently there was like, oh my God, everyone is so tense. Okay, yeah, you don't need to be outside. You're like tense from it, but you chose to be. I don't understand, I don't understand. Zoe, what's wrong with you? Sad bomb, oh my God, shared sadness. Why are all my Sims just like in a state? <laughs> She is, sh oh, she's not even halfway through her elderhood, which is good. Look at all these freaking traits she has, it's so gnarly. She's like a master spellcaster. She is maxed a bunch of careers. She's maxed a bunch of skills. Just, I'm just letting her do her thing. Like we have nine talent points and we have nothing to spend it on. There we go. <laughs> we already finished the spellcaster tree. We've sp finished the spellcaster aspiration. She's just a baller. And then Lamar, oh, Felix is here, sweet baby. Um, Lamar, he is in the tech guru career. He's level seven. He's a lot older than Zoe. He has like a couple of days left, I think. We didn't end up maxing any skills for him, which kind of sucks, but I bet we could get away with maxing video gaming by the time he passes. So I guess we could work on that. What are you doing? Throw away. Okay, yeah, throw away your sack lunch that you didn't eat. Hey. 
Girly pop, you're not even outside anymore. Get it together. <laughs> did you, yeah, you both did your homework. Okay, fantastic. I'm just gonna send them alone when they go to school next time. Oh good, it's, only, it's day six of winter, so the blizzard should stop soon. Dude, oh my God, you're so annoying, Ren. Like, if the blizzard is making you tense, stop going outside. You can knit clothing in your coffin. What? That's cute. I really want to, um... Oh, here's a bat. I really want to redo Ren's house. I think my building skills have come a long way since I built this. <laughs> Vampires, I swear, they're the coolest occult. Hands down. Let's see, let's see our club as well. How are our boosts coming along? Pretty dang good, actually. Might as well work on getting them all. All right, almost there. You're harvesting the plants? Very, very interesting. What is your gardening skill at anyways? Two. Hmm. How do you join a T-Post challenge? Is that at work? Let's look at the calendar as well. Yeah, we've got a bit of time before they become adults. Dang, 34 perfect bir whatever these are, orchids, $21,000. How? He has 40 death flowers in his inventory just in case. <laughs> we have so many random deaths in this challenge that it's like everybody needs to have a death flower. Night on the town. Ooh, free dinner. Do I dare? Do I dare freaking use dine out? Also, I think it's pretty crazy that Evangeline did not get the spellcaster, did not become a spellcaster because she has a strong bloodline. Edison didn't get it either, and they have a, he has a strong bloodline too. No! Who? Who? Beatrix Wright. I'm trying to remember who that was. I think it, it had to have just been a friend, but okay, she was an elder. Just a friend. Ah! Yes, you can give him the. Oh my god, there's too much going on right now. Holy crap! Turn it in. So many pop-ups at once. <laughs> no! Lamar's long life is coming to an end. This would be a good time to get his affairs in order. <sighs> what does that even mean? How do you get someone's affairs in order? Like, what? Empty out their inventory? <laughs> Man, I hate that pop-up. That sucks. This is gonna be hard to try and do anything when the freaking father passes. Always so hard. Lamar's first investors are nearly as enthusiastic as he is, which would be great if they weren't always asking for status updates. Now the investors are asking again, and the status is, well, not good. Does Lamar lie and assure them it's fine or come clean? Mmm, lie. Ooh, a medium performance gain. Lamar's political savvy is paying off. Mystified by the expert sounding technical jargon he sprinkles throughout the update, the investors believe him and invest even more. Let's go! Oh, Zoe made some chili on this uh, lovely sw summer day. Or no, winter day. Is that Ophelia? Aww. Come inside out of the blizzy. Let's go! Above average way to go, Evangeline! Oh, yes. B student. They're both B students now, which is freaking fantastic. Um, Edison, I'm gonna get you to take one of these potions of plentiful needs. This is a push on clinical needs, right? Just double checking. It is. Eddie Sun! Eddie Sun. Drink the potion, you'll feel so much better. And Evangeline, you only have one. You're feeling a little tired too. Alright, let's drink it. It shouldn't be snowing in Copperdale, I don't think. So we can like go to the pier or something. Oh my gosh, we need to send out the outfit. I almost forgot. So, cha cha cha. What, what happened? Oh, ship to buyer. You click it in your inventory. My mistake. Tasty right. feeling good, baby. Welcome back, Lamar. All right, go ship out that outfit. Easy million bucks. And we gained 12 followers from that. <gasps> Whoa, and we got 365,000 from investing. <laughs> I, that's so crazy. Money is just rolling in like nobody's business. Let's go somewhere. Let's go to the the pier in Copperdale. It kind of sucks, but we might see her there. Kind of want to explore San, San Sequoia more. I haven't really. Do, 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 do. I don't like how you can't just like click the pier and go. You have to like 
visit one of these lots near it and go that way. I just realized we haven't played this. Oh my gosh, it is snowing in Copperdale. Gosh darn it. We haven't played this since the Science Baby stuff came out. So we now have the ability to have Science Babies, which I think is pretty sick. Where even is the pier? Aha! Uh -huh. Dang it, why does it have to be snowing? I guess we could just do some ice skating while we're here. It's the last day of winter, so let's uh, take advantage. Take advantage, what? Savannah Price discovered the fire. Okay, that has nothing to do with me. No clue where the fire is, but thank God. <laughs> All right, customize rink, set music, turn on carnival beats. Okay, I don't like this, I don't like this song. It's giving me anxiety. Hip hop. Hip hop, you don't stop, baby. Where'd you get pineapples from? Why aren't y'all cute? <laughs> Let's see, who do we got? Is there anyone here? It's snowing, so. Rob's not. God, the pier is always so dead, and I don't understand why. Come on, Evangeline, let's go get ourselves a hot drink. You can take your skate shoes off. Like, imagine if this place was like crawling with Sims and teens and things like that. It's just like so boring. It's really underwhelming. Makes me sad. Thank you. Whoa, why are your eyes so red? What the hell happened? Oh, jeez. He smoked at school. Cannabis induced creativity. Ooh, yeah. I, uh, I downloaded <laughs> base mental drugs, so there is a little bit, mm, like, there's cigarettes and vaping and some cannabis now. And I guess he, uh, he smoked some at school today. Oh my lord. Oh my, there isn't a single soul here. They're cute. Did she smoke? Oh, new family dynamic jokesters. Cute, I love it. They have a silly, goofy relationship with each other. Look at me. Evangeline. Did you smoke at school today too? No, I don't drink or do drugs. Good, I'm glad. Keep it that way. Cup of bowl from drinking tea. Good company. High marks. Goof bumps from Jokester's Family Dynamic. They're cute. Well, if he has that high induced creativity, you might as well practice some guitar. Does that make your skill go up faster? Who knows? <laughs> this is so lame, guys. Honestly, like, I'm tempted to just go to her house because I'm pretty sure prom is on Saturday. Today, right? Oh no, what are we gonna do? Okay. Shoot, it's 12 a.m. You know what, let's just head over there. You cannot do this during a fire. Huh? Is there a fire at the house that we visited? Why haven't they put the fire out? Oh, there it is. We can't travel anywhere until the fire is put out, so I need- to, I'm just coming over here and calling the fire department, I guess. Mr. Wiggles was adopted by the Snow Household. Congratulations, Mr. Wiggles. Not on the town was off. Oh my god, Grim is here! Someone passed away! Who was it? Someone in this house. Oh, jeez. Oh, it was Savannah. It was freaking Savannah Price. It was the gamer girl who came with the high school pack. Oh my god. That is so freaking sad. We just came here so that we could go to the pier and someone died. Why does that always happen? It always freaking happens in this let's play. Death is a plenty, okay? All right, so we're gonna go to this house. Evangeline, let's just say Evangeline is friends with her. And she's like, come with me to my friend's house really quick. I gotta go pick something up <sighs> for prom. I don't know, let's just say that. There's gotta be a reason why we're just showing up at this random house, you know? So, this is the lot from our Eco Let's Play. Um, I don't know if this is actually the updated one. <laughs> the cow plant shrine, oh my gosh. Uh, so yeah, I guess let's just go over here. Oh, there she is, there she is, there she is. She's outside gardening. So this is Teddy. 
This is her. She's so freaking cute. She's got the music lover aspiration and the proper, no, yeah, music lover aspiration, music lover trait, excuse me, and the proper trait. So let's give her a funny introduction. Let's see how that goes. Evangeline, you need to do that as well because you guys are supposed to be friends. He's like, oh, sh what's up, girl? I'm Eddie. This is, I'm uh, Evan's, uh, Evan's brother. <laughs> oh my God, we're, they're already good friends. So her and Evangeline are already good friends. Her and Edison are already good friends. Holy crap, look at that. They can already mess around. Show off favorite game. We can also do this thing with Wonderful Whims where we can scope the surroundings to see who they think is attractive. This is um, Mari, uh, her adopted sister. She looks sad. Do you want to be friends too? You better think she's cute. You better. Oh, he does. Thank God. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Pristine reputation, baby. Why are you being like that? Are we famous? How Leo. Oh my god, this group of friends is so cute. I'm obsessed. I really am. This is a. Uh, this is a. Uh, uh, Tony. This is our main character from our Eco Lifestyle Let's Play. Oh my god, they're already hugging so much. Oh my god, who just got eaten by the cow plant? Was it Mari? Dude! No! Mari, please be careful. Oh my god. Prom. Create prom proposal sign right in front of her. What 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 style are you going for? <laughs> Doggy. That is their dad. Freddy. So the mom's name is Tony, the dad's name is Freddy, so I named their child Teddy, you know? All right, you did it. Now, didn't you already do your homework? Did you not finish? I want you to ask her to prom. This family is obsessed with their plants. Present prom proposal sign. Let's do this thing. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hey, No, she said no? But why? <laughs> why would you say no? Is it because our proposal sign is trash? We complimented her appearance and she's mad about it. Okay. Okay. Maybe we should... He thinks she's very attractive, but he's hurt. That she said no to go to prom with him. She doesn't seem like she's like feeling it very much. I don't know, maybe we just need to get to know her more. And like, before we like, you know, start turning on the heat. No, Mari, no, 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 no. Oh, she's feeding it. Okay, good. Oh my god, he got up to sit right next to her. I can't. He's so thirsty. Shish it up. <laughs> At least it's a pleasant conversation. Uh -huh. Ask to promise friends. Let's try that. She's like, I just met you like 20 minutes ago. I'm not gonna go to prom with you. Well, do you wanna go as friends? Do ya? Do ya? Sure, I guess I'll go to prom with you. Edison has a major crush on Teddy. You don't say. <laughs> oh man, all right, let's head home. We got ourselves a prom date. Hopefully prom works this time. <laughs> Look at him, he's so giddy. <laughs> it's actually really cute. La, la, la. We got ourselves a prom date. What about you, Evangeline? Do you wanna go with someone? Do you have any teen? Teens in your Devin Benedict. You have a really good relationship with him. 
Let's invite him over. Bald, bald, bald. <laughs> he's bald, but he's cute. Aww. Let's see. Friendly, deep thoughts, deep thoughts. Just have a deep conversation with him, I suppose. You're chilling by the mosquito traps? Okay, sure. Um, debate game strategy. Oh my god. What a lovely backdrop. Oh man, it's New Year's Eve. I think when prom lands on a holiday, it doesn't happen. We might have to wait until next week. You like easy, li easy listening music? All right, sure, why not? I don't think this guy's into us. This conversation seems really forced. Why is he embarrassed? Oh, it's because he's embarrassed. What are you embarrassed about, guy? There you go. Loosen up a bit. You make me do so much better. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Ever since Ren got the... What is it? What is it? Get it, girl. I don't remember which one it was, but it makes her, like, moods. She's just, like, content all the time. She's a lot less crazy than she used to be, which is fantastic. Cause she was, like, going off the rails for a minute there. I thought it was an aspiration thingy, but I don't think it is. No! Not outside! Not the finger! No! On New Year's Eve! Oh my god! That's so sad, you guys! Grim is already here. I don't think we can do death flowers for, like, elders dying, right? Does anyone even realize? No one even knows! Oh, Ren's coming. Rest in peace, Lamar! Ren, now's not the time. You're on your phone?! I Oh, there she goes. Now she registers. She's seen so many people die. What are you doing? Oh god, you're stuck, aren't you? Oh my gosh. The kids don't even notice. No one knows. This is actually really sad. He's almost dying alone. You can't even, like, witness death. No! Well, rest in peace, Lamar. You had a long and lovely life. You really did. Not me getting the burned out thingy for Lamar right now. Not his ghost being burned out. Oh my god. Widow. Oh god, so sad. My poor girly. Well, let's go ahead and put his gravestone in the family graveyard. Uh, right over here. I'll just plop her, plop him right there. Oh, poor feller. Look at how many gravestones we have. So many deaths on our lot. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, poor Ren. She seems really tore up about it. <sighs> well, everyone is just going to be extremely depressed now. Which is going to be hard. I get it. You, sir, you didn't even see what happened. I guess you just heard it. He's fine, though. Oh my god. Is this for real right now? And you're making more. You planning on selling those on Etsy or something? Like, what do you what do you need that many distressing concoctions for? Literally, are they distressing concoctions? Yeah. They are. You're just gonna leave them there, aren't you? 
You're not gonna make more. You're not. You are! Oh my god! <laughs> that is some crazy glitch. Holy crap. Why are you happy? Oh, the cat's sick. Gosh darn it! Honestly, like, when your sim dies and they have stuff in their inventory, all of that stuff should go into the household inventory, you know what I mean? Oh, thank goodness. Ren is holding all of them. Okay, we finally got the pop-up for prom. So let's freaking get it. Let's go, guys. Let's go. He has a date, so she better show up. I better not have to invite her, because, like, what's the point of inviting someone to prom if they don't, like, show up as your date? You know? I'm surprised it actually worked, because it's New Year's. Trip out on that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, I guess. I really want to place a new high school. I really want to place, like, a new prom situation, because the ones that come with the pack, I'm not the biggest fan of. Why aren't you in your fancy outfit? Oh my god, she's here! Thank goodness it worked! We didn't get a chance to invite Devin to prom, um, but... Oh my god, she has so many outfits. This is wild. I think I want you to wear pink or blue, pink or blue, pink or blue. Let's go blue. All right, and then Eddie, you are in your cute little suspenders. Uh, let's go ahead and drink a potion of plentiful needs so that we feel tip top. You don't stop. All right, cool. So I think we can claim to be prom royalty. Is that how you... Is that how you win? Oh no, wait, so... Okay, Evangeline, you need to come over here and vote for Eddie. Wait, vote for Eddie as prom royalty? And then Edison, you need to vote for Evangeline as Jester. Oh my god, how iconic would it be if they both won? <laughs> There she is! Oh my god! That is seriously your prom outfit? You really are doing the most. I think I'm gonna have to change you though. Who's that? Carmelo Meperu. You look cool. I'm not trying to get flagged for your prom fit. There you go. That's better. Much more wholesome. Nice and barefoot. <laughs> oh my gosh! Who's this? My teens look so cool! Jordan Mata. All right, here's our date. Why are you all sweaty? Oh, I don't wanna know. Well, hey girl, how are you? Sweetheart dance together. Yes, do it. My last prom, I had a freaking raging werewolf running around and it was a disaster. Everyone was just like so scared that no one did anything. Oh. Was that nice? Did you enjoy that? Do you have a crush on us yet? Oh my god, why? Why are you slow dancing with someone else? That's not your date, sir! No, shoot, you're right. Oh my god, the ceremony is starting. Please let us win! I know we only voted for each other, but I think that should be enough. Look at all these teens. What the? <laughs> Aw, she just complimented up, our outfit. <laughs> Alright, let's get on with it, May! I love how they keep the music blasting during the ceremony. <gasps> oh my god, we won! We won royalty, baby! Where's Evangeline? Did she win Jester? Oh my freaking god! We did it! Holy cannoli. She looks so good. Oh my god, she stinks though. Yikes. Maybe we should give her a push on plentiful needs. Actually, it's gonna end right now, but... <gasps> I'm so stoked! That was like the easiest thing ever. Oh, Royalty oh, for the oh, night, yeah. baby! Did they get a milestone for that? No? That seems like something that would be a milestone. 
A decent night. You've earned a shiny reward. It's in your household inventory. That was like the fastest prom ever. But yes, let's do let's do the little after party. Let's bring sister, sister, and Mari, um, and Teddy. All right. Let's go on the cuddle carts with her and see how that goes. I'm kind of scared though, cause she seems, she seems like a tough cookie to crack. Offer Rose. Please accept. Oh, she did. She's a romantic. Oh my God. We have a little bit of romance now. They slow danced at prom. Oh, Baggy Funa. Uh, can I help you? <laughs> Elmer? Uh, oh, he's like your prom royalty? Nice. <laughs> Alright, let's hit the cuddle carts with her. See how this goes. Oh my goodness. You are worth the wait. What are you up to? Oh, you poor dear. You really need a potion. I got you. <laughs> Eddie's like, yo, Evangeline, come here. Take this. You'll feel so much better. What is this? Serious box? Did the cat bring it to her? It's like, nice, prime royalty, nice. Down the hatch, baby. All right, you guys going on the cuddle carts or what? What is this girl doing? Oh my God, everyone's on our butt because we're prom royalty. <gasps> they're going, they're going, they're going. He's feeling really sad about his dad right now. Oh God, I hope that doesn't ruin it. Oh, Mari! Awesome. New Year's Eve toast. Oh, Who's huh? this? Huh? Another oh, death? Dude, Zoe can't take anymore! Not Kiyoshi. Aw, rip Kiyoshi. Oh, Wasn't that like one of our... Oh, the stars have aligned and Edison takes his crush on the cuddle cards where all good relationships begin. The lighting, the music, the employee awkwardly standing in the corner changing the light bulb. <gasps> Does Edison take the first step? Or does he take it easy and keep it casual? My gut is saying be casual. Oh, no. the would <laughs> oh, okay. Edison's nerves get the better of him and even casual conversation is proving to be difficult. Teddy responds politely and attempts to keep the conversation going, but the employee in the corner eating popcorn anxiously waiting for some drama kind of kills the mood. When nothing happens, everyone is left with a stale resolution. Not bad, but not good. As Not as good as he hoped. We should have just done it. All right, ride the Ferris wheel with her. <laughs> she seems to be into this guy. Look at her, look at her face. Oh, oh, she's neat. Oh my gosh. She looks happy. Oh, this guy stayed with us. Huh, it looks like he might have potential. I wish we could see them on the Ferris wheel. That would be the cutest screenshot. Oh, they're getting along. It's cute. Eddie, cheer up! Oh, Manami and Bellamy had another baby. Oh, is he feeling flirty though? Dreamy eyes from crushing on someone nearby. He's sad, but he really likes her. This is making me really sad. We should probably kiss her and then go home. It's almost five in the morning. But, oh no. Say something. What will Edison say? Pineapple? No, just hi. Oh my God, that's so cute. He's like, what do I do? What do I say? The night's coming to an end. Gloomy compliment. Oh my God, we can't even do anything right now. Ask for advice, maybe? Maybe that'll help him feel a little bit better. Oh my God, she's like, uh, so what are we doing? <laughs> You're like, in the worst mood ever, and I get it, but do you want to just like leave? Why are you standing so far away from each other? Okay, maybe you need to take another one of these. Does that help your moodlets? It does! Potion of plentiful needs. You're not leaving, are you? Are you just going to the bathroom? Please tell me you're just going to the bathroom. No way, dude. Please don't go. Thank you for putting up with my bullshit. Like, it's okay, I understand. 
Okay, he's feeling better now. Oh, she just got closer. <gasps> she did it! She made the first move! She did the mistletoe! Aww. Gosh, her sight profile is so cute. Yay! Oh my god, look at she's so giddy. Dude, now's not the time for that. Oh my god. Oh no! Throughout the conversation, Edison got the impression that Teddy finds him unattractive. We could fix that. I mean, she just kissed us. <laughs> you know what? If you don't like it, go away, you know? We're having a time. Reveal crush. See how that goes. He's like a, I really like you. I really like you. She's like, cool. Bye. <laughs> Oh man, what are you up to? Who's this? Angie Rich. Hmm. I'm just here trying to play chess and you're kind of bother bothering me. I love her cold weather outfit. It's super cute. I don't know what to do with Evangeline. I don't know what to do with Edison. I don't know what to do about careers, skills, hobbies. They're geeks. But it's like, how many geek sims have we had in this challenge? Way too many. How many video gamers have we had in this challenge? Way too freaking many. I think that was pretty good for today. We got a lot done. We got freaking Teddy in our grasp. I'm hoping things go well. It was a little bit rocky, but we were, we were able to get there. So I'll wait for you guys to comment what you think that their careers and their hobbies should be, what they're into, how they make money, et cetera, et cetera. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you are not subscribed yet, it would mean the world to me if you would come join the family. And yeah, I will see you in the next video, you guys. I'll probably be uploading this every week because I know how much you guys miss it and honestly I miss it too. So yeah, expect another legacy episode next week. All right. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.